Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we will introduce you to a SQLite sample database. We will provide you with the resources to download the sample database as well as a diagram which shows the database schema. You can then use the diagram for reference purposes. At the end of the lecture, we will show you how to connect to the sample database using the SQLite 3 tools. The sample database is called Chinook and it is just an alternative to the Northwind sample database. The Chinook data model represents a digital media store which includes tables for artists, albums, media tracks, invoices, and customers. This diagram illustrates the Chinook database tables and their relationships. All in all, the database has 11 tables and they are highlighted below. This is just a simple overview of the Chinook database. We have the employees table, and this table stores employees data such as employee ID, last name, first name, etc. It also has a field named reports to. This field specifies who reports to whom. We also have a customers table. This table stores customers data. Artists table. This table stores artists data. It is a simple table that contains only the artist ID and name. Invoice and invoice line. These two tables store invoice data. The invoices table stores invoice header data and the invoices line table stores the invoices line items data. Albums. This table stores data about a list of tracks. Each album belongs to one artist. However, one artist may have multiple albums. Media types. This table stores media types such as AAC audio file, MPEG audio file, etc. Tracks. This table stores the data for songs and each track belongs to one album. Playlist and playlist track. These tables store data about playlists. Each playlist contains a list of tracks and each track may belong to multiple playlists. Genres. This table stores the data about music types, such as jazz, rock, metal, etc. Now we move on to connecting to the Chinook database. First things first, we have to have a copy of the Chinook database to connect to. There are two ways to create the Chinook database. The first one is running a script. But as we haven't done that yet, that is running scripts, we will use the second option. The second option is to connect to the database file A SQLite is an embedded and standalone database. To connect to the Chinook database, proceed with the following steps. The Chinook database file is provided in a zip format in the resources section of this lesson. Download it from there and then copy it to the folder C SQLite DB. If you don't have this folder, create it. As you can see, I am in C, SQLite DB, and I have copied the downloaded Chinook zip file into there. The next thing is to extract it. So just select it, right click, and then extract files to Chinook or extract files here. I'm gonna choose extract files here. After extracting, we now have the Chinook database file in this directory, C, SQLite DB. Extracting it from the zip file gives us access to the database file through the SQLite 3 tools. The next step is to open the command prompt in this folder. To do that, just go to the address bar here, type cmd, press enter, and then it will open up the command prompt in this folder, that is C SQLite DB. Because we mapped SQLite 3 to work from any location, we can access the functionality for SQLite 3 from this folder. If we didn't do that, then we'll have to go first to the SQLite 3 directory with that SQLite 3 exe. The next step is to get into the SQLite 3 context. That is, we want to move from the command prompt to the SQLite 3 context and be able to run SQLite 3 commands. To do that, you type SQLite 3 and then provide the database file that you want to work with in the context. In our case, it is the Chinook DB. We just write Chinook DB because we are in the same folder that the file is. If we are in a different folder, then we will have to provide the path of that database file that we want to work with. After typing SQLite 3 Chinook DB, press enter. As you can see, it provides you with the SQLite version to show you that it has successfully gone into the SQLite 3 context. To make sure that you've connected to the database correctly, we're just going to type a few commands. 
Don't worry if you don't understand, we're going to cover them in a later lesson. The first thing that we can do is the dot tables command. This command allows us to view all the tables in the Chinook DB. To do that, just type dot tables. And then it displays all the tables that we have. Remember, from our overview, we say that we had 11 tables. If you count these tables, the number will come to 11. Displaying the tables that we have in the Chinook DB is confirmation that we have managed to successfully connect SQLite 3 to our sample database that we're going to be using in the future lessons. Just to recap, in this lesson, we have introduced you to the Chinook SQLite sample database and showed you how to connect to it using the SQLite 3 command tool. Thank you very much for watching.